is the Zhan Wei, a Tier 4 Pan-Asian Destroyer. What's unique about the Pan-Asian Destroyers is their deep water torpedoes. They have the potential to inflict more damage to cruisers, battleships, and aircraft carriers, but they will not hit destroyers, so you want to be mindful of that. So let's take a look at the setup of the ship and the commander, who is Deng Shishang. I have him ranked up to 16.2. His base trait is Quantum of Solace. Increases the damage of your torpedoes and improves your destroyer's concealment. So you may want to consider using this commander as an inspiration for other destroyer commanders. As for inspirations, I have a double concealment set up here with Eric Bay. Shifty increases the concealment of your destroyer. And then Jersey Swirsky, Hide and Seek, increases the ship concealment rating. As for skills, I have Subsurface Venture for the first skill, reduces the torpedo launcher reload time and increases the torpedo travel speed, but it increases the destroyer main battery reload time. So I'm really only looking for a torpedo setup here so I don't mind the hit on the guns, no pun intended. Second skill is Look At Me Now, increases the ship concealment rating, and this is the maximum concealment of this destroyer with this commander setup. Third skill is Back in Stock, reduces the torpedo launcher reload time. Fourth skill is Smoke on the Water, increases the smoke screen deployment time as well as its dispersion time. As for the Legendary skill, I have them ranked up to Legendary Rank 2 as we said. And I've selected Unstoppable, it reduces the engine repair time, gains reduced mobility with a disabled engine and or rudder. The range to the enemy ship to activate the special effect is 4.5 kilometers. When you upgrade the legendary rank 3, this radius increases to 6 kilometers. Alright, so let's take a look at the upgrades for Zhang Wei. First upgrade is Aiming Systems Mod 1. Dispersion of the main battery is improved by 7%. Torpedo Launcher Traverse Speed is improved by 20% and the Secondary Battery Fire Range and Dispersion is improved by 5% respectively. And we have the rest of the default upgrades here. The next upgrade is the Torpedoes 533mm Mark 8. Reload time is 70 seconds. Maximum damage is 13,864. Detectability range by sea is 0.9 kilometers. Then we have the Zhanwei Hull B. Hit points 12,500. Rudder shift time is a respectable 3.2 seconds and you have one AA mount. The last upgrade is targeting system 4 mod 2. Firing range is increased 10% up to 9.9 kilometers. So let's take a look at the loadout. As for ammunition, we have high explosive shells, armor piercing shells, and deep water torpedoes, which we'll get into in a little bit. As far as consumables, you have your normal damage control party consumable. Duration is five seconds, reload time is 40 seconds, and the number of consumables is unlimited. Next, we have a smoke generator consumable. The duration is 31.8 seconds, and to me, this acts a little bit like a rolling smoke. It's not really a rolling smoke, but it's close. Duration is 31.8 seconds. The dispersion time is 74.2 seconds. Reload time is 120 seconds, and you have four of these consumables. Then we have the engine boost consumable. Maximum speed is increased by 8%. Duration is 120 seconds with a reload time of 180 seconds, and there are two of these consumables. We're not running any boosters with this setup, and we're not running any camouflage, and you will see why in the stats in just a second. As far as survivability, the hit points is 12,500, armor is 6 to 10 millimeters. As far as the artillery, there are five guns, firing range is 9.9 .9 kilometers. Reload time is 8.8 .8 seconds. As for the shell damage, HE is 1700 with an 8% chance of setting fire. AP shell damage is 2100. As far as the torpedoes, you have two triple launchers. Reload time is 57.4 seconds. Maximum damage is 13,864. The torpedo range is 7.3 kilometers with a speed of 64 knots. 
Here are your AA defenses. Maneuverability is pretty good at 37 knots. Turning circle radius is respectable at 540 meters, as is the rudder shift time of 3.2 seconds. And here the concealment is rated at 100, and this is why I didn't select any camo yet. Detectability range by sea is 5 kilometers. Detectability range by air is 2.8 kilometers. Let's take a look at the armor. 6 to 14 millimeters, you definitely do not want to get hit. As far as the overview, it's a low profile, harder to hit due to a smaller hull. It's fast, above average maximum movement speed. Deep water torpedoes are harder to spot, but cannot hit destroyers, so you want to keep that in mind, especially about not hitting the destroyers. As far as being harder to spot in actual battle, I've been kind of surprised at times how easily the red team seems to avoid my torpedoes. The Jeanway was developed in Britain. The design of this destroyer flotilla leader was offered to the government of the Republic of China in 1929 as Project T-306, but it never materialized. The ship carried five main guns and two triple torpedo tubes. Year of design was 1929, and there were no ships in the series. Well, that's it for the setup of the ship and the commander. Let's go out in a standard battle and check out some highlights. All right, we're in standard. We're in the Atlantic. And I'm going to take a look at the teams here. There's another Jean Wei in the battle. Looks like uh, my teammate it was a bad miss if he was trying to take a shot at me, but he was trying something there. Somebody tried something. But I'm just going to head out here and take a look at C and see what's out there. Taking a look at this guy again just to see what the heck is going on. All right. Going to head out here to C and try to uh, inflict some torpedo damage on the red team. I do find the Pan-Asian destroyers to be a lot of fun, but as uh, they've been out there for a while, it seems like the red team players are starting to get the idea that if uh, they're in a destroyer, they know that since you have deep water torpedoes, they can rush you if they're in a destroyer that does not have deep water torpedoes. So you definitely have to be careful of that. Looks like C is being captured by a red team destroyer. And I'm not really all that great with gun battles, so I'm trying to avoid that if I can and see if I could spot some of the rest of the team. I'm being located most likely by that destroyer that is in C. And that looks like the smoke cloud from the destroyer. And there is a cruiser coming up there. It's kind of out of my range. My range is 7.3 kilometers. And I'm just going to come around and I'm stopping right here. This looks like a little bit of a good area for protection. I did deploy my smoke. So I'm just going to sit here and look for targets of opportunity and hopefully I can get some action going on some of these red team ships. There is a battleship coming. There is a Tennessee. Looks like I do have a shot here through this gap. So I'm going to take a shot with the torpedoes through the gap and maybe one or two will get through and I'll get lucky. Looks like I have another shot here and so I'm taking another shot. Looks like two torpedoes got through that gap. And there's the obelisk right there that's sitting up in the water. I'm going to start hitting the Tennessee with my main guns. And we'll see if we can start some fires. There is a fire that got started. That is awesome. Looks like we're going to get one torpedo hit on the rear end of the battleship. And it did cause a flood. And here is two more torpedo hits. So that is awesome. So three torpedo hits and we're up to 33,000 damage right at the start of the battle here and 
You can see at 57 seconds for the torpedo reloads, it does go pretty quick. And I'm going to take another shot at the Tennessee. Hopefully we can take care of them here. But this is a great opportunity to get both of these racks of torpedoes off. So we're going to use the island for cover. They did leave the smoke. And I'm spotted once I fire my main guns. And there's three more torpedo hits and a destruction. That is awesome. So now I'm using this island as a barrier and I'm just going to scope out the situation and this looks like a good opportunity over here. There I'm uh, replying to my teammate but I have decided to leave the cruiser alone and that other Jean Wei over there and go after this battleship. 57,000 damage with six torpedo hits. That is a really good score for me in the Jean Wei. I did get 20 main gun hits, so it's not like you don't use your main guns. They do take a little while to reload. And, you know, that is kind of why I don't use the main guns as much as I probably should. But here I'm coming around to take a look at the Tennessee and there's another battleship over here so this is definitely where I'm gonna go. So the Tennessee is running away from me. It looks like he's gonna get wiped out with these torpedoes here. He almost got wiped out with the torpedoes. And since he is occupied with that other destroyer, that other friendly destroyer, I'm going to take some shots at him with my main guns. Eight seconds for a reload is kind of long, but I am looking to start some fires on the Tennessee. And maybe get a little closer and fire off these torpedoes. Looks like the Tennessee ran a heel and his health looks like it's recovered a little bit but we're going to let some of those deep water torpedoes go in his direction and we're going to let both racks go and he did get destroyed there so that was all for naught so now we do look like the match is well in hand Looks like B is being taken, so I'm going to back, go back over there and try to defend B. There is another Jean Wei, so even though I don't really like gun battles, I am, uh, you know, you got to do it when you got to do it. So here I am with the Jean Wei. So since I know that he can't hit me with his torpedoes, I'm going to basically rush him. And if these guns didn't take so long to reload, I might have something going on. Here, I'm taking some guesses in the smoke, and I do get a hit. And I got another hit, even though they're uh, deflections. There was a little bit of a penetration right there. Possibly an overpen. I'm going to try to whittle the John Way down here, the red team John Way. And I am getting close enough to him to where I don't think he can hide in his smoke. So 
So there he is right in front of me. He does get taken out by my teammates, so that is awesome. And then there is another cruiser. So there's just two cruisers left on the red team. We still easily have this match well in hand. Here I'm going to take some shots at the Kodofsky. I'm using the island as a little bit of cover. Coming back around here, I'm still within range. I think I can get another set of torpedoes off here. The first set looks like it's going to be pretty good. And there you can see that he is not moving at all. He's going to get nailed with these torpedoes. And he is gone. So we're up to 67,000 damage. A second destroyed ship. Looks like we're going to capture B. Took it by myself. That is awesome. And now I just have the Dallas to worry about. Right, so you can see the Dallas doesn't have much left, and he is wiped out. All right, so it was a victory in standard. 178,000 credits, 67,000 damage, 35 main gun hits, 7 torpedo hits, 2 destroyed ships, a fire, 4 floodings, and a captured flag. And look at all those milestones that um, we completed and goals. Okay, so let's take a look at the team results. Second place overall, only 1,900 XP. Let's take a look at the economy tab. 161,000 credits. By the time it was all said and done, you can see I had the epic battle boosters and boosters going all across the board there. And that's why we have some big time XP, global XP, and commander XP. Well, that's it for the Zhang Wei. As with all the other ships in the Pan-Asian line, it is a lot of fun to play. I find it fun to play. I really like the torpedoes. It's a challenge sometimes with the deep water torpedoes, especially when you're going against other destroyers. But if nothing else, you get to take a look and you'll have some idea of what the Zhang Wei is all about. This is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like it. Smoke generator started. Foundered.